Good morning, steam it. It's a Piscopo Squirrel here, also known as Alcrange. Here to do another dab with mage. Are you ready, kids? Ah, uh, I'm just kidding. None of y'all are kids. Maybe some of y'all are kids. I don't like it when people call me kid, though. Or boy. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a dab? <laughs> I'm really weird this morning. I had some interesting dreams. The last dream was actually a really good dream. I woke up as uh, I was paying for a random person's layaway. Welcome to another episode of Dabbing with Mage, where this morning we're going to talk about a little bit, a little bit of philosophy. Um, so, today we're going to talk about the ethics and morality of killing somebody. Is it ever okay to kill? And, uh, you know... For a while, during my spiritual awakening, I was completely um, passive, you know, I, I didn't want any kind of aggressiveness in my life. Um, I've spent many years being a very aggressive individual. I have a lot of anger in my life, I have a lot of pain and suffering that I've been through that has traumatized me. and has put my mind into these patterns that I'm trying to rewire uh, more recently. But when I first started awakening to my surroundings, to my environment, to myself, I wanted to stop being so angry. I wanted to stop hurting people. I wanted to stop hurting myself. And I convinced myself that it was never okay to hurt somebody, that it was never okay um, to harm, and so, um, I've done a lot of thinking on it, and I realized that there definitely are times where an individual must use force to protect themselves, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, more recently, I have come to a point where I don't really believe in objective morality, only subjective morality and subjective ethical um, pursuits. Um, so, is it ever okay to kill somebody? Well, a very simple... Uh, argument for this is if you are being threatened in such a way where your life is being put into danger it's okay to kill if if you can't disable that individual who is threatening your life and bringing to the point where you might be killed where you might lose your life where you might die it's okay to use escalation of force, equal force, in order to uh, disarm this individual. And if it comes to the point where you have to kill them, 
So be it. You have to kill them. There's nothing wrong with that. As I said before, there's no such thing as objective morality. Um, so subjective being within the individual, objective being all-encompassing of the entirety of existence. And so there only exists personal morality. There is no universal morality. And so really you're only convincing yourself <clears throat> if you've done something good or bad. And so when it comes to murder... If you are the aggressor, in my opinion, in my subjective opinion, I think that that's wrong. I think that we as individuals have, I don't like the word freedom, I don't like the word rights, but we have the capacity and capability of living How do I put this? Um, trying to be as non-objective as possible. Anyway, so I guess it's it's kind of an objective thing that's formulated from a subjective view, but basically each and every individual has the capability to, or I feel like capability is the wrong word. I always use freedom. We, we as individuals each have the freedom to live according to our own rule, according to our own will, as far as our will exceeds to another person's, uh, to where another person begins. So, to use a little uh, example, this is person A, this is person B. Person A can do anything they want that comes all the way up to person B. But once person B begins, they can't do anything. And same with person B. Person B can do anything they want within this spectrum. But as soon as it comes to person A, they can no longer do that thing. So, if person A aggresses on person B... That's wrong, in my opinion. That's subjectively wrong. So, <clears throat> as soon as person A is aggressing on person B, person B now has uh, the right. I don't like rights. <laughs> it, it is now okay for person B to defend themselves against person A and to use violence. And... Um, you know, this, this stance of nonviolence, um, is, is good, um, because you can still defend, your, defend yourself. Um, there's nothing within nonviolence that says that you cannot defend yourself. Uh, so, yeah, I think that there will come a time where there are no laws, that just morality exists. And I think that, you know, with the way that we work as humans needing to survive, I think that if, if this time comes in a country that is not very technologically advanced, things can fall apart very quickly. Um, and, you know, often we see this in uh, third world countries where their uh, governments shut down and um, anarchy takes over. You know, I'm a huge proponent of anarchy and anarchism. But I don't think it can actually work without a... Uh, it can't work in large areas, um, expansive areas without it being technologically advanced enough. Because at that point, the people are able to feed themselves. The people are able to take care of themselves. They can get all the things that they need, and so they don't need to be taking it from one another. If we can come to a point where we can help one another and really just not need any outside help, um, I mean, 
you know, obviously imports are always going to be important, um, but being able to get the bulk of what you need from your own supply, that's extremely important. We can do a lot with that. So, um, so just to, to bring it back to the original topic, um, is it ever okay to kill someone? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, if, if you are being aggressed on, if someone is using offensive tactics against you, you can be defensive and you can use uh, equal uh, escalation of force. <clears throat> Not only that, but if somebody else is being encroached upon, if someone else is being aggressed upon, and you witness it, it is now your responsibility to do something. You know, personal responsibility is huge within uh, anarchism. And so, you really need, we as people really need to start recognizing that we have a responsibility to do things when we see things happening. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. It's okay to kill if necessary. Well, I hope you all learned something today. And if not, that's okay. I hope you all got to take some dabs and get high and feel a little bit better. If not, that's okay. Uh, I am interested in your opinions on uh, the morality of killing somebody, though. <clears throat> Is it ever okay? Well, I hope you all have a beautiful day, Steam It. Excuse me. I love you all very much. <clears throat>